This question is from gate 2022, Mechanical Engineering Paper Set 2, question number 29. The velocity field in a fluid is given to be vector v as 4xyi plus 2 times x square minus y square j. Which one of the following statements is or are correct? Option A, the velocity field is one dimensional. Option B, the flow is incompressible. Option C, the flow is irrotational. And option D, the acceleration experienced by a fluid particle in zero at x equal to zero and y equal to zero. So option A that is given here, velocity field is one dimensional. Clearly it is incorrect because V depends both on x and y and also the unit vectors i and j. So this indicates that it's not one dimensional, it's a two dimensional velocity field. And therefore, A will be wrong. Now, let's check for B, C and D. So, velocity field V is written as 4xy i cap plus 2 times x square minus y square j cap. First thing, we need to check for option B, whether flow is incompressible. Now, property of an incompressible flow is that divergence of velocity field for that flow will be 0. Let's find out the divergence of this velocity field. So this will be partial derivative of u with respect to x plus partial derivative of v with respect to y should be equal to 0. So when we take partial derivative of u with respect to x, we get this as 4y plus when we get when we take partial derivative of v with respect to y, we get 2x square is a constant. So derivative is 0 minus 2y square derivative is minus 4y this will be equal to 4y minus 4y is it is 0 and therefore this statement is correct so flow is incompressible now let's check option c flow is irrotational to check whether this flow is irrotational we need to find out the angular velocity in the direction perpendicular to the xy plane so angular velocity in z direction has to be found out which should come out to be 0 in order to the flow to be irrotational. Now omega z here will be equal to average of the variation of velocity in perpendicular direction. So we will take variation of component v in x direction and with sign you have to take so this being positive variation of u in y direction. So this will be equal to half into Variation of v in x direction, dou v by dou x means partial derivative of this term with respect to x. This is 4x minus derivative of this term with respect to y is 4x. 4x minus 4x is 0. We see that angular velocity in z direction is 0 and therefore flow will be irrotational. C is also correct. Now option D is asked whether acceleration at x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 is 0. So that we need to check. Now to find the acceleration, Ax is nothing but total derivative of u with respect to time. This total derivative will be the sum of convective acceleration and local acceleration. Local acceleration is du by dt while convective acceleration is u into dou u by dou x plus v into dou u by dou y. Write this carefully. It's a little bit confusing. An acceleration in y direction will be equal to d of v by dt. It's total derivative of v component with respect to time. So this will also be dv by dt plus u into dou v by dou v by dou x plus v into dou v by dou y. Finding out these terms, we will have these time differentials are both zero because Velocity field is not time dependent. It is given to be 4xyi plus 2 times x square minus y square j. So there is no dependence on time and therefore derivative with respect to time will be 0. So therefore we have ax will be equal to u is 4xy into dou u by dou x. Derivative of this term with respect to s x is 4y plus v into that is 2 into x square minus y square into dou u by dou y. That means derivative of this term itself with respect to y we have to take. So it is 4x. Now when we put x and y as 0, we can clearly see first and second term both will turn out to be 0. And therefore the acceleration in x direction is 0. What about acceleration in y direction? So same thing happens here also. If you check, you will get this also as 0. 
Now total acceleration will be a resultant of these two acceleration values. So it will be under root ax square plus ay square and therefore acceleration is 0 at x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. Let's go back and mark these options. All three options b, c and d are correct because flow is incompressible, flow is irrotational and acceleration experienced by the fluid particle is 0 at x equal to 0 and y equal to 0. To learn more about flow properties, you can refer to the NPTEL video lecture 2, Lines of Flow Visualization and Acceleration of Flow. It's from the course Advanced Concepts in Fluid Mechanics. The course is taught by Professor Suman Chakraborty. He is from IIT Kharagpur. I hope this solution helps you clear your doubt. Thank you. Thank you.